Alright guys, welcome to your 50 second C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about something called inheritance. Now inheritance is a topic that confuses a lot of people but I'm going to be giving you guys a really simple explanation and showing you guys a really simple example of what inheritance is. Now inheritance is the idea that you can inherit things from another class. For example, say you have a class that has a couple functions in it and a couple variables in it. And you wanted to make a new class that also had the same functions and variables in it. Well, instead of, you know, copying them all and pasting them all into your new class, you can just inherit from the other class. And whenever you inherit from another class, you get all the stuff. You get all the functions and variables. So let's go ahead and make two classes. File, new class. I'm going to make one class named Mother. And this class is going to have a couple things in it. Well, it's going to have a function in it for the sake of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create this, add it to project, and I'll press OK. And now I'm going to create a new class called Daughter. Now what the daughter is going to do is inherit the stuff from the mother. So go ahead and press Create, Yes, and OK. So the first thing we need to do is go to our .cpp, copy this, paste in our main, and also go to our daughter, copy this, paste it in our main, and then copy all this and paste it and paste it. So now all our .cpps look the same. That's what I like to do in all my tutorials. So let's go ahead in our mother header and actually in both our header files take out protected and private because um, I didn't tell you guys what those mean right now so let's forget about them for now. They're actually pretty important when we're talking about inheritance but like I said, in this tutorial, I just want to give you guys a really simple example. So, before I go on, let me give you guys the technical terms. See, we're going to be inheriting all the stuff from mother, and we're going to be putting it in the daughter class. But now, the technical terms, if you're on a test or if you're working for a job or something, whenever you inherit from a class, this main class that you're inheriting from is called the base class. So in this example, mother is going to be the base class. Now the stuff that does the inheriting, the daughter that gets the stuff, this is called the derived class. So the base class is the class with all the stuff in it, and the class that is going to get all the stuff is called the derived class. So let's go on and uh, start typing our example. So let's go ahead and throw one function into the mother class and we'll just, you know, void say name. So this is the Roberts family we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and build this function right here. Right here. Alright, we don't have anything in the constructor because the constructor is annoying. Now let's go ahead and build this void mother say name function. And all this function is going to do is see out I am a Roberts because that's what my mom shouts all the time and she doesn't know how to spell so that's why I have to add some typos in there so now if we go ahead in our main CPP we can build an object called like mother name it mom and what mom can do is say name and of course it would say I am Roberts on the screen and say you wanted to build another object a daughter object and we'll name this Tina and you wanted Tina to have that same function because I mean she's a Roberts too she should be able to say it well right now whenever we build it it doesn't work because Tina doesn't have that function only the mom does so you're saying alright I know what to do in this case go ahead and copy this put it in the daughter header then copy all this crap put it in the daughter CPP and it should work fine well, yes, you can do that and it'll work fine, but I got an easier way to do things. And that is through inheritance. Now, whenever you want to use inheritance, all you have to do is this. In the header file, whatever class you want to inherit the stuff from, right after the class name, put a colon. And then right after this, write the word public. And then write the class you want to inherit from which is mother. Now we're going to be talking about this keyword why I put public right there. Basically it means um, all this public stuff is going to be public in here. It, but we'll be talking about it later. There's a couple of weird things but you know just put public for now. So basically what I'm saying to C++ is this. Alright, in my daughter class include all the stuff 
from the mother class. So what it's going to do is go over to this mother class, go ahead and grab this function right here. It's not going to grab the constructor, that's another silly rule, but it's going to grab any public variables and any public functions. And right now we only have one public function in that same name and it's going to throw it inside this daughter class. So now this daughter class is inheriting from the mother class. So now check it out. Even though we didn't explicitly write that same name function in here, it inherited it so it's there even though we can't see it. So now let's say we want to take away this part right here and we try to run this. We don't get any errors and now the daughter is able to use that same name function. So again what inheritance is is this whenever you have a class and you want to inherit the crap from another class you can write a colon and then public and then that name of the class and what this does is it takes everything from this class and it sticks it in this class so this is called the base class and this is called the derived class whenever you inherit everything from the base class gets thrown in the derived class so now even though we can't see the same name function it's there so that way whenever we created a daughter object the daughter object was able to use the mother's functions even though it wasn't explicitly written in the documentation or the .cpp file whatever the heck you want to call it so that's why we were able to run this daughter object and use the same name function on that so that's what inheritance is it's basically inheriting stuff from another class but you know how I said that there are a couple weird rules like you needed this public thing and whenever you inherited it grabbed all the stuff from this mother class and threw it into the daughter class well that's not exactly true I don't want to say I lied to you guys but for the sake of this tutorial I just wanted to make it simple um there are a couple weird exceptions in whenever you inherit from another class it doesn't actually grab everything it only grabs a couple things and also you need this public keyword or else some weird stuff will happen if you try to use protected or private and that's what I'm probably going to be talking to you guys about in the upcoming tutorials but for now what you have to remember is this inheritance is basically grabbing another class and throwing all the stuff into a derived class so this is called the base class this is called the derived class that's what inheritance is pretty simple huh you inherit this stuff from another class that's all it is so now that i talked about that we're ready to move on to the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe hopefully you'll understand the concept of inheritance if you don't watch the video again and i will see you in the next tutorial